Yo, what up? It's your boy Chef Part here, and you tuned in to another episode of Cooking with Heart. So today, I feel like getting a little fancy schmancy, you know? How fancy, Chef Hart? Oh, I'm glad you asked, Mysterious Voice. I'm talking racks of lamb with a red wine reduction. So, allons-y. All right, so first things first, baby, we're gonna start off with our onions and shallots. Dice them up into small pieces. Now, shallots are a type of onion that have a delicate and sweet flavor with a hint of sharpness, while onions bring out more intense heat. Now you're gonna set those bad boys aside and get ready to our lamb. This particular cut is a rib roast, the most fancy of the cuts. We're gonna season this bad boy with salt and pepper and a little bit of olive oil. Now you're gonna set your cast iron to a roaring high heat. And instead of pan roasting, we're gonna pan sear this bad boy. Add three tablespoons of unsalted butter, 14 cloves of garlic, cause Chef Hart loves the garlic. Thyme sprig, rosemary, and begin to baste your lamb. That's right, bathe your lamb in that flavor. Basting is used to keep your meats moist during the cooking process and enhances the flavor. Be careful, you want a golden brown sear. Don't over sear it. If you can only smell it now. After searing and roasting each side, you're gonna set it aside and allow your lamb to cool. Now, you wanna mix breadcrumbs, rosemary, roasted garlic, parmesan, and your olive oil and blend it and it'll set it on the side in a sheet tray. Now, here I'm using a food processor, but if you want, you can sharpen your knife skills or use a blender. Now, I know it smells like Mary had a little lamb, keyword, had, but we're not done, baby. We're gonna wanna brush the lamb with some Dijon mustard because it brings out the spice with slight vinegar tone, and it's going to allow your breadcrumbs to stick. Now, you're gonna set your crusted lamb and place it at a 450 degree oven for about 30 minutes. You want the internal temperature to reach at least 130. For my medium rare, but for all you well doneers, we'll say about 150 degrees. Now on to our reduction. First things first, we're gonna add some oil in our sauce pot and begin to sweat our shallots and onions out. Once your shallots and onions are sweating like a priest in a kindergartner's class, you're gonna add your cup of red wine, thyme sprigs, two cups of chicken stock, and a tablespoon of tomato paste, and season with salt and pepper to taste. Now keep it boiling until it reduces by half and it becomes to a thicker consistency. Now we're gonna strain the sauce and voila! A red wine reduction. Wow, Chef Hart! That's right, Timmy. Even you can make lamb at home. Voila! Boom. So look at this right here. It is you can something you can do at home. It's not impossible. A lot of people get intimidated by lamb and bigger pieces of meat, whether it's beef or chicken, whatever it is. You can do it. So I hope my tutorial did it for you. That you'll be able to find an easy way for you to manage and to make your own lamb with red wine reduction. Boom. So this is the favorite part right here. All right, so now I'm gonna do the favorite part, which is taste it. Duh, got my red clothes right here, my Jimmy Ah! This is it. It's my first time. Now I'm excited because I got to share it with you, me, my first time making lamb and it came out great. I'm proud, you should be proud of me. Clap for me. <laughs> That's it. For another episode of Cooking with Heart, it's your boy Chef Heart, and I do great things. Peace.